It's a red wine risotto with mushrooms and lots of kale. So a lot of great earthy flavor to it. From the time you start adding liquids, it should be exactly 18 minutes. So easy to make a risotto to the table within 30 minutes. For this risotto, I started with one large shallot, or you could use a small onion, finely chopped. You saute that in the bottom of a round bottom pot with some olive oil and a, a few fat cloves of garlic. I'm gonna season this up with salt and pepper. Vegetable stock or chicken stock, about six cups for a cup and a half of rice. That's for four adult entree portions or eight starter portions or side dish portions. You're gonna need six cups of warm liquid. In that warm liquid, I am steeping these. A little bag or about an ounce of dried porcini mushrooms or you can use dried mixed mushrooms. We're going to add our short grain rice, cup and a half. Arborio's the most common. There are other short grain rices, but our is the most common. So a cup and a half per four portions. Then you're going to add one cup of red vermouth, which is fortified red wine. So medium price, lovely bottle of a nice Italian red I would buy for this. In my case, I always have red vermouth in the house, so I'm going to use that in my risotto, and I'm going to drink this. <laughs> So one big cup of red vermouth or red wine. And we let that absorb fully before we add the next dose of liquid. And this is all we do from the first time we stir in the liquid over medium high heat. This will be 18 minutes. And then we finish with butter and cheese. Now we're also going to combine it with fresh mushrooms. These are called hen of the woods mushrooms or maitake mushrooms. You just pull them apart and scatter them on a baking sheet. And I love to roast these. Uh, and when we come back, we'll talk about the kale right after this. Hey guys, so I am working on a really fragrant, easy winter dish. It's a red vermouth or red wine risotto, vermouth being a fortified wine. And we're gonna add that a few ladles at a time and we're trying to develop those starches. So remember we chose a round bottom pot medium high heat, and every time we add liquids, the liquids have to be nice and warm, we stir, 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 and really get into those corners and keep scraping the pot down. Stir, 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 stir. Now, over here, once we have steeped our uh, dried mushrooms in our stock, and not only flavored the stock, but it plumps up the porcinis in this case. So we're going to fish these guys out and let them cool down so we can handle them. We're gonna finely chop these and add them to our risotto. Keep an eye on it. And every couple of minutes, just add another few ladles. So these are cooling and I have some of my kale stripped and chopped here so we can just wilt it into the dish the last few minutes. I'll meet you back here. I am wilting in, I'm wilting in the last of our kale. And we're going to add in all of our reconstituted porcini mushrooms to our red wine or red vermouth risotto. Now we're going to finish it, as is tradition, with butter. A good three tablespoons of butter and some Parmigiano cheese. Stir, 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 stir. This perfect pourable, whoa. Oh. oh my gosh. And then we have our super crispy oven roasted hen of the woods up on top. And we saved the red wine to go with it. 